The best OBS studio settings for recording can vary depending on the computer you use. In this video, I'll give you some guidelines that'll help you choose the right recording settings for your computer. Let's get started. First, let's get a profile set up. Go to Profile, then New. I'll title this Best Recording Settings. Click OK. With the profile selected, any settings we change going forward will be saved to this profile. Next, let's go to Settings. We'll start from the bottom and work our way up. Go to Advanced. In the Recording section, check Automatically Remux to MP4. I'll explain why when we get to the Output tab. Next, go to the Video tab. Set your base resolution to the highest possible resolution. In my case, that's 1920 by 1080. The output resolution depends on your computer. If you've got a high-end computer, you can select the highest option. If you have a lower-end computer, lower the resolution until the video looks smooth. Start with 1280 by 720 and work your way down. The video quality will be lower, but at least you'll be able to create a smoother viewing experience. If your output resolution is the same as the base, then you won't have to worry about a downscaling filter. However, if you are downscaling, then Lankzos will give you the best results. If, your computer can handle it. If it can't or you're not sure, stick with Bicubic. The FPS refers to how many frames there are, in one second. The most commonly used frame rates are 24, 30, and 60. The more frames you have, the smoother the video will be. But, this also means that the recorded file size will be larger. 24 is mostly used in movies, so it's not really a good option for streaming or screen recordings. 30 is a good option for lower-end computers. 60 will give you the smoothest experience, but keep in mind that the files will be larger. Next, let's go to audio. Most of the default settings can be left alone. The only important part is that you enable the correct audio sources. If you're capturing sounds from your computer, select the default desktop audio. Just keep in mind that you'll hear any sound that comes out of your speakers. So remember to mute any unwanted desktop sounds and notifications. If you're using an external mic, select it in mic and auxiliary audio. Thanks for watching the video until this point. And I hope you're finding some value in it. If you are, please give it a like. Now, let's get back to the video. Next, let's go to output settings. Change the output mode to advanced. Then go to the recording tab. In here, select where you'd like to save the recorded videos. I suggest leaving the recording format as MKV. You do have other options like MP4 and MOV. However, if you select any other option aside from MKV or FLV, there's a higher risk of you losing your files if your computer crashed. So, OBS recommends using MKV or FLV, then remuxing your videos to MP4. We've already set this in the Advanced tab to automatically remux to MP4. This should save you the hassle of having to remux manually after each recording. Next, you'll need to select the encoder. You have the option to use a hardware or software encoder. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card in your computer, select the NVENC H264 setting. This is the hardware encoder and will create the highest quality video. I don't have an NVIDIA card in this computer, so I'll pick the AMD encoder for the purpose of showing you the settings. If you don't have an NVIDIA card, select the software encoding option X264. If you're using the NVENC encoder, click the drop down for rate control and select CQP. Leave the CQ level at 20. For X264, select CRF. Set the profile to high. Next, go to the audio tab to set the bitrate for the tracks you're recording. If the output resolution is set to 852 by 480, set the bitrate to 128. If it's set to 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080, then select 256. You only need to set the bitrate for the tracks that are enabled. In this case, only track 1 is selected. Click Apply and OK. All of the settings that we just went through are now saved to the profile that we created at the start of the video. In the next video, I'll be creating a new profile with the best settings for streaming. So keep an eye out for that one. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.